Hi guys, Jesse Rhines, yoga therapist from Evolutions here to read and center with you again today, reading from Mark Nepo's Book of Awakening. I really love this one. It happens to be from July 9th, and it's called The Surface and the Deep. When under, remember the surface. When on the surface, remember the deep. When our days are turbulent and troubled, our challenge is to remember that the wave is not the sea. Though it pounds us, the pounding will pass. Though it tosses us about, the tossing will pass if we don't fight. Often our fear misleads us to stay in close to shore when the safest place is in the deep. If we can get there, any swimmer knows, stay too close to shore and you'll be battered by the surf and the undertow. We must swim out past the breakers if we are to know the hammock of the deep. Stay on land or make it to the deep. It is the in-between that kills. There's a lot in that. <clears throat> and I love the thought of when under remember the surface. So if the deep is an analogy for a deep place of peace within us, how do we translate that to the surface, to the world, to the day, you know? And when on the surface, being tossed, remember the deep, which is more what he's encouraging us to do here with this meditation that I'll modify just a little bit. I'll ask you just to become comfortable, find a comfortable seat, let yourself sit in any way that supports your body, that encourages you to feel grounded. And take a few breaths, a few cleansing breaths, if you'd like, in through the nose, out through the mouth, if you'd like ocean breath, anything else that you know works for you. <clears throat> Letting downward energies root, and then sitting up out of a strong torso to connect to that which is greater than us, rooting and rising. Mark Nepo encourages us to sit quietly and practice entering the deep. Perhaps imagine that you're swimming out to the deep and imagine each breath as a stroke. As you breathe slowly, stroke your way past all distraction. And when you feel the swell of life around you, when you feel alive, when you feel as though you are 
being more than doing when you feel connected to that swell of life around you. <clears throat> Simply imagine floating. Allowing yourself to drift. You could stay here for as long as you like and simply know that when you get pulled by distraction, the work is to just very kindly return to this float, this drift, almost as though you're in the center of a lake, far from the shore, but every now and then you hear some voices on the beach or a bird in the trees around you. And then pull back to center, where it's very deep, imagining your body floating way above deep, deep water, or maybe even diving down, making a home there. Whatever analogy helps you to connect with depth, with a, a sense that the surface is one thing, Often in yoga, we talk about the fluctuations of the mind, much like waves on a windy day. But deep down, there is always a place, whether it be a lake or the bay or the ocean, that is calm, that is home, that is profound peace. And whenever you're ready, again, you can certainly stay. We'll just very slowly bring an image or way of breathing or word back with you. You might even envision these many following breaths as strokes back to the shore to come out of this meditation gently unrushed the shore. You can imagine climbing out of the water and returning to your day with that depth within you, right? bringing depth, offering depth to the activities that await you. When you're ready, when you're ready let the head drop. Bring the hands to the heart center. May this practice be meaningful. May this practice bear fruit. And may the fruits of our practice benefit all beings everywhere. The light in me honors the light in each one of you. Namaste. Thank you so much, as always, and um, I look forward to practicing with you again tomorrow. Be well. <laughs>